You're here with Woo Ninjas, your trustworthy team of WordPress, e-learning, and WooCommerce experts. In this video, we'll give you a general guide on how to sell digital products, such as plugins or even software on a WordPress site. And if you like the content we're putting out, make sure to like, subscribe, and throw any video suggestions you might have in the comment section below. So say you're selling plugins, Hosting them on your own website gives you absolute and complete control. And this includes everything from pricing to the interface to the customer experience and how they actually go through the checkout process. It's great to have this amount of control. And with WordPress, you're not paying for commissions or paying for another site to promote. It's all yours and you own it, which is the great part about WordPress. All right, so your very first way of getting into this is actually choosing an e-commerce solution that allows you to sell software, software licenses, or plugins. So let's jump into that. So two of the main solutions out there are easy digital downloads, it is a WordPress plugin because that's what we're speaking about. And then also uh, Freemius. So these are two great solutions. In this video, we will not go into Freemius in detail. We're actually gonna just go into easy digital downloads. So easy digital download allows a software license add-on to your actual WordPress site. And it makes it one of the most convenient tools for WordPress plugin developers to actually sell their products. And you're not just limited to WordPress plugins to sell on here. You can sell their types of software and other types of digital products as well. And another key feature is Easy Digital Downloads integrates with support solutions like Help Scout. So it really helps with dealing with customer help and support tickets when those two are easily integrated. And what's so great about this is customer support tickets are directly linked to certain purchases, which makes the whole customer support situation much more streamlined and much more organized. Because when you sell products, you're always gonna need to give support. Usually, there's some rare instances you don't. It's always good to structure that from the beginning to have support, even if you don't provide it, but it is always recommended. And then the integrations is what so, is so great about this. It integrates into so many different things like Stripe, PayPal. You can even use MailChimp for email automation. It has a lot of these different integrations. And yeah, 14 day return. It's verified and Stripe is the partner. So, you know, as you can see, very good user interface. And you can do simple things that a lot of times may be difficult, like unlimited file downloads. Sometimes you have a site with downloads, you can sell someone a subscription to download anything they want from your site on a more premium version, automated access control, customer first focus, obviously very important. And then these 100 integrations is what makes this so powerful. And obviously here are some of the integrations. You can do Slack automations. As soon as you have Zapier integrated, you can do almost anything. And obviously the PayPal processing, Stripe processing, Dropbox, if you store your files there. So, you know, as you can see, many reviews, most of them are very good. All right, so now let's just jump in on how to set this all up. You wanna use easy digital downloads. You have a WordPress site. Now, how do you get it all set up? As you know, it is a plugin. So we go to the bottom. Can't really see it with my picture right here, but right there, plugins, click on plugins. All right, so now we're in plugins. I just search easy digital downloads right here. Seeing that I have already downloaded it, I mean, you just click install now. And after you install, you activate. You're allowed to mess around with the settings if you haven't got the actual license key, which is nice to play around with it. But when you actually wanna do make the purchase, it does prompt you and you play between about 100 to 200 to get the initial license. So make sure it is activated, which it is right here. And you can enable auto updates if you want. All right, so here it is. It's called downloads, or this is the area we go to interact with it. All right, so let's just jump into settings to begin with. This is just a good starting point to see all the different things. I have activated a license key for demo purposes. I just bought the personal account, so I don't have all the extension access. So this is where you fill in all the business information that you may have. Currency is always important. Make sure you have it on the right currency, USD, euros, whatever you're doing by filling out these first four and obviously taxes as well. Okay, our next big section to get into is where the, the juice of this plugin actually comes in is in the actual extensions. So right here. So extension, this is where you choose which are the different extensions you want to get things going. And we'll just do a hypothetical. Say you wanted a membership model, you know, where they pay a monthly fee and they get access to all your plugins, all your downloads. 
to download your software, you would install a few different plugins. Some of them would be All Access would definitely be one of those plugins. Allow your customers to download any product from your website using All Access, meaning they pay the monthly membership, they get access to everything. And also don't forget reoccurring payments. This allows you to actually pay or bill them on a monthly schedule, whether it's like the first of the month or right when they sign up. 30 days from that time. So you can set that up with reoccurring payments. And don't forget to actually process those payments. Check out Stripe Payment Gateway. And these are the three things you're gonna wanna do. Set this up. Remember, I am in the basic version, so I can't upgrade to all these right now. But if you get this more premium version, the extended, it gives you access to most of these plugins. Just good thing to know when you're actually paying for this is maybe it's worth it to get the roughly $200 product. Okay, so now we know how to get the different extensions. We understand about uh, activating the license key. Now let's jump into actually adding a digital product, something we're gonna sell, whether that is a WordPress plugin or a piece of software or something like that. Under downloads, there is the downloads button. So click on that, you can see about a little arrow, that's where I am. Then we're gonna click add new to add a new product. All right, this is where we put our sample product idea or our real product if we're getting into it. So this will be zero spam plugin. I think this is worth $20. Enable variable pricing, we're not gonna do that right now. My file name is zero spam. Then we just upload the file. This is a PNG obviously, so it's not really what we're selling, but this is good, download the instructions. Obviously you'd give more detailed instructions, maybe even a Loom video, if maybe people are a little more unsophisticated. So we see it's a public. You can even start adding things to different categories. You're gonna tag it with anything. If you have multiple things, this is when you have to start getting into categories, tags, things like that. But if you're selling one or two things, obviously those are much less important. You can add product reviews, which is awesome because that just adds social proof. And what we can do is just make sure to publish. But before we do, we can also notice that we can bundle. So if you had multiple products, this could also be a bundle edition, meaning you're selling you know, three plugins for $50 each. Well, you could actually bundle them up so you get three plugins for $100. So you're still getting more money. And really, there's no cost to selling a plugin because it's all a sunk cost and you just have the cost of potentially support. So this is this is it. This is the preview for now. We can add more text. Even if we wanted to add an image, we could do that right here. You know, I did say that I'm selling this image, but let's just say that we want to add an image and say that's perfect. And all we have to do is save draft, or if you are ready, then just press publish. All right, so this is how you simply create the uh, page and the pricing for an individual product and you can sell multiple products. So now you know what it's like to actually list a plugin on easy digital downloads, but let me show you what it looks like when you have the whole system set up. You have the user interface right and everything just works. This is our site, Woo Ninjas. We help with LearnDash, WooCommerce, Buddy Boss, WordPress plugins, selling WordPress plugins, but let's just show you what it's like because we also make plugins. So that's why we're sharing with you how to do this because we helped other companies and we help ourselves sell these plugins. So if you just go to Learn Dash add-ons, these are some of our plugins, uh, Manage Assistance, Learn Dash Assessments. You can go to the details, there's quite a few plugins. And you can see we have a rating system, we have a little video preview, happy customers, it shows you a little bit more about each one. And then it shows you, hey, you can get a single site for this much, three sites or uh, unlimited sites. And then we have lifetime or annual. So you see it's a good price point, but almost like, you know, two and a half times a year, is lifetime, so it's almost worth lifetime. So you can use these pricing options for yourself. And even if you wanted to get into it where you go, okay, well maybe I can sell, you know, three of the actual plugins, but only charge for two and put them in a bundle. So this is another option we have for Learn Dash Essentials, Learn Dash Essentials 2, lifetime or not. Lifetime's usually priced by two and a half. And uh, yeah, so this is what you can do. You can have a bunch of plugins that you've made selling individually, or you can actually sell them annually. You can sell them for multiple sites, single site. So this is what can be done with this easy digital downloads. And also don't forget, if you're interested in any of this and actually getting it done, it's a little complicated. You've tried to do it yourself. We can help you with that. Absolutely. So go here. You could read through easy digital downloads under WordPress. Remember, we're Woo Ninjas. And if you can put your information in the bottom, we're going to be happy to get back to you and you can talk professional where you can just tell them what you want. And then we can then build it out just the way you want without any stress or inconvenience.
before we go, I do want to mention the importance of license activation management. So to prevent unauthorized usage of your actual software or your plugins, you'll need to maintain and make sure that each license is activated and managed properly. And depending on the e-commerce plugin that you actually use, this might involve integrating a licensing service that handles activation and deactivation, or you could actually do this all on your own, but it does take a good amount of time. And also I have this in the background because yeah, a lot of people forget this. If you're doing a monthly membership site and you don't have this, you can have say you have a hundred dollar membership, you can have 10 people logging in simultaneously with that one membership login and ID. So this helps if you give access to one person that only one person can log in at a time. So also consider this. So there's a bunch of different things that would be advisable when you're building this out. Okay, after following this video, you should now be able to set up a WordPress site and sell licensed digital products in no time. However, if you do need a little help from the pros, feel free to let us know. We have actually helped hundreds of businesses set up different platforms and projects on WordPress, including WordPress sites for actually just selling plugins. And if you need some help to just set up easy digital downloads on your WordPress site so you can focus on marketing and getting people to buy, then we're happy to help you. Just make sure you click on any of these tabs, go to the bottom, throw your information in the bottom, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, to like, subscribe, and throw any comments you may have in the comments section about future videos you want or any comments or questions you have about the content in this video. If not, I will see you in the next one.